Okay, let's take a look at another video. This time uh, we'll be looking at case number 19. So how shall we look today? A 32-year-old man presents to his physician with extreme swelling of his legs and scrotum. The skin associated with the swollen areas is thick and scaly. The patient admits to an episode of fever associated with enlarged inguinal lymph nodes some time ago, but he did not think much of it. His travel history is significant for spending nine months in the tropics, approximately two years before this presentation. What is the most likely diagnosis? Elephantiasis is caused by the nematode roundworm Wuchteria bancrofti. How does the organism involved in this condition cause illness? The organism is transmitted by the bite of a female mosquito. Larvae are released into the bloodstream and travel to the lymphatics of the lower extremities and genitals where they mature. Approximately one year later, adult worms which reside in lymph nodes trigger an inflammatory response. What signs and symptoms are associated with this condition? Inflammation resulting from the presence of adult worms causes fever and swelling of lymph nodes. Repeated infections cause repeated bouts of inflammation resulting in fibrosis around the dead adult worms and the lymph nodes. This fibrosis can obstruct lymph lymphatic uh, drainage and lead to edema and scaly skin. What test can help confirm the diagnosis? Blood smears reveal larvae, microfilarae, because larvae usually emerge at night. Drawing blood in the evening is preferred. What is the appropriate treatment for this condition? Diethylcarbamazine is effective in killing the larvae, but is not as effective against the adult worms. Efficacy of targeted therapy against adult worms is still unclear as there may be an increased risk of scarring with worsening lymphedema caused by the host inflammatory response to dying adult worms.